Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be uh, looking at this uh, very cool uh, list uh, that can expand so basically if you know collapsible views or expandable views uh, this is what we're going to be creating today in Swift UI so let me show you what you've got so basically you have this um, uh, this accordion kind of uh, functionality where you actually uh, slide the um, row to see more options like that okay and content size can be different and as you can see you can open multiple items and expand them and you can collapse them individually okay so yeah so this is what we're going to be creating today so let's go ahead and uh, get started uh, so we're going to start with some uh, mock data so i'm going to create a struct first for our data structure and this is going to be to do uh, data and uh, it's going to be identifiable and hashable and we're going to say id is going to be uid um, then we're going to have title and details okay and uh, now let's create some mock data. So I'm going to copy and paste some code to basically create some mock data like that. And uh, this is our mock data, but it has too, way too many extra lines. Okay. All right. Let me clean this up a little bit. And there we go. Okay. So this is our uh, mock data, and uh, it's uh, basically going to return some sample to-dos. Uh, obviously, in your case, it's going to be a real data where it's coming from. Next, we're going to create a view modifier. And in case you guys are, uh, you guys are wondering what view modifiers are, I've got like a whole bunch of view, mod view modifier videos coming up uh, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're going to create struct, uh, scroll, cell and view modifier if i can type view modifier okay there we go so view modifiers are basically your um, modifiers that you use like you know on the font uh like font foreground all these things like these are view modifiers uh these are um, like a little bit of functionality that's actually wrapped not a little bit like you know a, a piece of functionality that's wrapped inside a, another function so you don't have to write over and over and uh, he can actually reuse that so we're going to be learning how we can create that and this is actually one of the example okay so we can actually here create a group that group is gonna have content and divider and this is it for this view modifier so it's gonna have the content and this bottom divider okay that's about it all right next up we have our cell the content cell that we're talking here okay so let's go ahead and create our content cell and uh, the cell is gonna have a take to do okay and uh, we're gonna say is expanded okay we're gonna keep a track this in not bill but bool okay now let's create a body all right and we're gonna create our h stack which is gonna have a v stack with alignment H tag inside which is gonna be basically this guy right here and uh, we're gonna have uh, text in this and that's gonna be to do dot title I'm gonna give a uh, modifier font title or maybe headline headline is good um, then we're gonna give some padding maybe leading oh, 16 points then there's going to be a spacer and an image of chevron this one right here and we're going to make a decision here so we're going to be 
using system image but we're gonna say is expanded if it is expanded then we're gonna say we need chevron dot up otherwise we need chevron dot down okay we're gonna have font and we can take system font with 22 and design not design actually we care about weight um more so we're gonna say um weight is going to be uh regular and i know why this is actually given error because this overload takes size as a parameter there we go okay then we have padding and padding is going to be trailing 16 points all right next up is our if expanded condition so if expanded is expanded then we're going to say we need to return a v stack and uh, that v stack is going to show our content okay so alignment is going to be leading and uh, text is going to be to do dot details we're going to give it a font foreground color multi-line text alignment line limit padding top is going to be 16 and horizontal sorry padding horizontal is going to be 10 oh let's give it 16 okay all right then we close our expanded we close our yeah we close our vstack expand it and then we close our, our vstack okay then we put a spacer here and we give it a contents shape to be rectangle so the entire uh, thing is clickable the entire thing is clickable here uh, because uh, the shape of this is expand is 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 rectangle shape <laughs> okay all right so let's go ahead and and build out our uh, expandable list okay so we're gonna first need a state variable state private var selected cells so we're gonna keep our selected cells inside we're gonna keep a track of them inside this set and we're gonna initialize this with empty and we're gonna say to do's is basically coming from mock data dot to do list there we go that's our data now we're gonna use a scroll view scroll view and inside that we're gonna have a for each for to do's now we don't have to specify id because we have already defined this as identifiable and it's uniquely identified by id and uuid is there so we don't need to worry about that okay so content cell is going to be to do all right so we're going to give it a to do and expand it is going to be self dot selected cells dot contains if this contains to do that means set has that to do that means it needs to be expanded otherwise it needs to be collapsed now we can apply the modifier scroll cell this is how you apply your own modifier if you are not um, extending the view class these modifiers that you use here they are extended in the view class okay and we're gonna see the example in upcoming videos how you can do that okay so uh, we are gonna say on tap on tap gesture if self dot selected cells dot contains to do if it has to do that means then we're gonna say selected cells dot remove that to do because you are collapsing it you just touched it upon it that means you're collapsing it so we don't want to keep a track of that and otherwise we can simply say insert that to do okay now 
it's time to add some animation so animation we're gonna say is ease in and out with duration of 0 0.3 and some padding to be applied needs to be applied and it's going to be at the top and bottom which and bottom so you can do this way or you can simply do vertical and you can say two okay now let's close these two guys and uh, put a frame with max width to be infinity so our scroll view takes the entire space so this is our scroll view it takes the entire width and we give it a padding at top to be 10 okay let's go ahead and run this and see if there is any <laughs> issue that we encounter or any bug we introduce all right so it's looking good it's working the way it we are expecting it to work and yeah and this is it so this is how you create your expandable uh, list so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next video uh, where we're going to be talking something new about search ui so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you